It is Saturday, July 29, 2023. I'm here in San Diego, California for the annual, it's the 26th annual uh, Main Street America Car Show, which benefits the uh, San Diego Center for the Blind. I realized I was supposed to go up to the Sacramento area and shoot the uh, Midnight Mass show. Let's just say I made a wrong turn on I-5. So I realized that one was on the tentative list for a while. Uh, the temperatures are supposed to reach like 98 degrees up there and I decided uh, mid 70s would be better for filming a car show. Uh, and I did look this one up and they get a large turnout of amazing vehicles. It's an amazing setting right here. Uh, this is the Embarcadero Park Marina North is where they have this one. It's sort of like on a little mini peninsula. Uh, there's a lot of boats around here and you can actually like actually see over Coronado where the uh, Navy ships are. Uh, so what, what a great spot for a show. Without further ado, we're gonna go get seeing what's here. So I'm gonna give you an idea of the view from where the car show is on the uh, downtown San Diego side. As you can see, the uh, cars are still rolling in here. Reminder, next week we got Long Beach Swap Meet. Uh, the following week we have Pomona Swap Meet. It's all gonna be in the uh, tentative list, which will be in the comment section of the video shortly after it posts. I may try to hit like a Cars and Coffee or something tomorrow morning. So if I do that, that'll probably post on Wednesday. Yeah, some of the cars coming in. You can see the aircraft carriers in the background. Of course, the uh, Coronado Bridge in the background there. Beautiful uh, 56 Corvette. Is the uh, 265 with the two four barrel carburetors on these. model. I also filmed uh, Ruby's cruise night in Whittier last night so that that'll actually post probably while I'm filming this show. That one was a viewer suggested video. A few viewers suggested I go out and check that one out. Yeah Lewis has his. I will say, I don't know what happened on that video, but the it, something glitched in my camera and it mixed up the clips. So hopefully that doesn't happen today. I was able to piece it back together as best I could. But it's when I went and played it back, it's obvious some of the stuff is still out of order, but it, it doesn't, it's really just something that in my mind, I know it's out of order, but for most people watching, they're not gonna notice. Other than the music in the background, you can tell, you know, that's the only way you can really tell it was out of order. So I don't know what happens. Hopefully that doesn't happen on this video. Beautiful uh, 63 split window. Fuelie. First year for the Stingray, only year for the uh, split window. <laughs> this one is uh, to be very original. We have this 1967 big block Corvette, 427 has been modified. Pair of 55 Chevys coming through. Yeah, this 
76 Corvette. Uh, this show is actually put on by the uh, San Diego Corvette Club. Back on the way down here, I passed a couple of uh, vintage Corvettes. They have a, a Miata display too, if it comes with an orange Miata. It's beautiful Packard Woody. Otherwise, you get in there. That's the way to go for a drive. pass those kids. Because you wanted more Packards, <laughs> we'll bring you more Packards. Got a uh, Ford Model T 1914. Getting back into the brass era of vehicles. Uh, AMC, AMX, rolling through. This uh, GTO rolling through like a 65. Another 63. Sixty-seven Stingray small block, three twenty-seven. Martin, you're with him. The more modern uh, Corvette, O five model. This one. Manual transmission. Got a Hemi powered roadster. Galaxy. Seven Thunderbird rolling through. Got a fifty five Packard Caribbean convertible. Six Nomad. Oh, 
Same with the tri fives. There's another 56 Nomad. It's a 57 convertible. That 55 Nomad we saw rolling in, unless it mixes up the clips again, then it might be later on the video, who knows. So 55, I believe it's a 210 model. Nineteen fifty-eight Buick. Yes, I'm still working on my sixty-one, and it'll be on the channel eventually. This one's a four-door hardtop Roadmaster. I just love just how much chrome there on these. This fifty-nine Pontiac Bonneville two hardtop. So the most beautiful interior. I know I filmed this car before. I believe at a Palm Springs event, if I'm not mistaken. Another 63. The uh, 72 Stingray. This one I saw on the 5 on the way down here. That's 1960 Corvette. Yeah, this uh, 61 Impala. Custom uh, 59 Buick. Two Ford Street Rod. It's nineteen thirty four Packard Roadster. Yes, it has the uh, golf club door. This 55 Ford Crown Victoria, complete with a Y block. Uh, 68 from the GTX 440. Healy 3000. Uh, 59 retractable coming through. Seven Kelsey Hayes wire wheels. That's Dodge Viper. Hey everybody, want to say good morning and give a quick shout out over here. We got we got this '63 uh, Roadster that he added a looks like a fiberglass top to 
made it look like a coupe with a, a split window. Sort of, sort of interesting way of doing it. modern uh, Corvettes that they've modified to look like a C1. Here's one they went so far as to make it look like the uh, Nomad show car. I should say the uh, Motorama show car from the uh, early 50s. the 50th anniversary edition. There we got this uh, Indy Pace Car edition. This one's from 2008. The pressure just changes and it's just a trip, bro. That one with uh, gold wing doors. Kind of interesting. My uh, sister's name is Tara, and my her son's name is Chris. So there you go. I'll put that in the video. All these uh, custom C8 Corvettes. I never heard anything like that. Yeah. I mean, you don't you don't need a whole lot in this cabin. Yeah, this town car lowrider. With the velour. And folks actually had an 86 with the uh, velour interior versus the uh, leather. And my stepfather ordered it because on hot days, obviously, the leather would get very hot. And, uh, we had that car for many years. Chevy Caprice Lowrider. Yeah, the sixty two Impala. So actually we got a, a 62, a 63, and a 64, and that goes back to 63 again and 62. <laughs> so let's get through it here. 63 is a super sport. Got a 64. Look at the uh, custom paint here. The 63. Super Sport with a factory tack there. Got the 62. Thank you. Thank you. Bring it back in, show you this uh, 61 with a Continental kit. I 
59 El Camino. This AMC Ambassador Station Wagon. See, this one has the 360 in it, according to the emissions decal. Definitely a car you don't see very often. Sounds like a C20. The sixty seven Corvette Coupe. Seven Chevy one fifty. Got yeah, someone going out on a uh, hopefully not a three hour tour. It's kind of what that shot reminds me of. <laughs> They're not off to Gilligan's Island. So they roll out of the harbor here. Got a bow tie shift lever. Big block. Yeah, oh, yeah. So the vintage uh, child seat. 
Obviously times were different back in those days. Our 63 split window. This one actually is a coupe. There's a Roadster. It's like a 65. Block uh, 67, 435 horse. The three two barrel carburetors. So this this show is actually done people's choice. There's actually people walking around, jotting down what their favorite cars are. The uh, Ella swapped 72 Nova. This 57 Chevy pickup. This is 53 pickup. Show the woodwork down there. The bed in on the running boards. Tell us swap. Uh, F100. Got a uh, 68 Camaro Z28. Got a uh, Model A hot rod. Small box Chevy with a blower. Those 90 style custom pickups with the uh, OBS bed. No, no, Gavin Newsom needs his podcast. The uh, 64 Ranchero. Got the C10 pickup, short bed, and a custom interior there. Dodge A108 van, 
window style. Of course, uh, ready for the beach. We got a few custom, uh, this is a Chevy, but then there's a couple PTs a little later on. Of course, this was Chevy's answer to the uh, PT Cruiser, the HHR. This one's uh, been converted into a surf mobile. Oh, there's more in the back. <laughs> I'll get it back there. There you got the vintage radio and the. There you go. Yeah. Here we got the uh, PT. The owner's asleep inside, so I'm not gonna get too close on that one. We'll have uh, this one that's uh, sort of aviation themed. Here we got the aircraft carriers in the background. My ship used to pull in here. I was on the uh, USS Abraham Lincoln. Now we used to pull into Coronado. Sometimes I'd rent a car and drive up visit uh, my family in LA back in the 90s. So on the uh, Lincoln, I was also on the Nimitz for a while. Did a world cruise on the Nimitz and did a Westpac on the uh, Abraham, Abraham Lincoln. A Chevy Suburban. Ready for some off-road, possibly camping duty. Got a few Thunderbirds, Sarantha's Jetbird. It's got the Kelsey Hayes wires. I remember we had the uh, 55 that was in my family. My father put the wires on it you know they were mostly a 60 Thunderbird thing they're very popular on 50s such as this 57 here so 56 T-Bird this 55 first year Thunderbird. Let's see what it was like when he uh, first got it. Fifty-seven. Oh, the sixty-six Ventura to a hard top. Nice big full-size Pontiac. And we're going to the uh, sixty-six Le Mans. desert water bag. I saw a couple cars overheat on the way in, which is weird because they really didn't have a long line of cars. <laughs> so one car that uh, blew its radiator hose. And it's actually very cool here. <laughs> Interesting steak bed. This is a 1940 Ford Deluxe Coupe. So 
I say it was modified probably in the 70s or 80s. It's got the uh, more modern column on it. So it's got either a 348 or a 409 in it. It's a 37 Ford that's for sale. Remember swap meet rules, there's no price, but uh, there you go. Always check the date of any of the videos if you happen to spot any for sale signs. Be wary of when the video was actually recorded and posted. And yes, people do buy and sell vehicles from these videos, especially the swap meet ones. Speaking of swap meets, so Pomona will be, in August, will be my two year anniversary of when I started filming Pomona. And I have not skipped one since then. So this traditional hot rod, if you like, like the traditional rods, check out from last week, hot rods on the tarmac. It's all pre-51 traditional rods at Santa Ana Airport, uh, muse or the, it's the Lion Air Museum, which is on the back side of John Wayne Airport. And I got footage inside the museum of some of the beautiful airplanes they have, and of course of all the uh, beautiful hot rods that showed up at that one. That was a really great event. So I said that was uh, last week's video. This Buick Street Rod. Somebody's flying a drone. So I'm pretty sure we're uh, not 15 miles from a military base since there's one right across the water there. <laughs> so. I don't fly drones, I have a drone, but uh, very rarely are you actually in a spot where you can legally use it when you're in an actual city, unless you get like the full FAA license. This is a very 80s style street rod on this Ford here. Billet wheels and the uh, paint the way it is. Big block Chevy. You got some of the Miatas. I have a friend that lives in San Diego area uh, who has, I think both him and his wife have Miatas. So I'm not sure if they're here or not. Yeah, some of the older Miatas are getting up there in age, over 30 years old. Of course, they've uh, been a popular car since they were released. I actually got one running for a lady in my neighborhood. She needed, uh, her husband couldn't drive the car anymore and she needed someone to get it running and take it down for a smog. And I got it running, but I couldn't fit in the car, so. I unfortunately could not take it down for a smog and she couldn't drive a stick, so I don't know what to imagine she got someone else to do it. Well, that's custom painted with flames. With all the uh, boating activity around here, they should be playing Yacht Rock <laughs> all day. Throwing some Steely Dan and some Michael McDonald and Christopher Cross. This Acura NSX. I did miss Radwood in San Francisco last week. And if I had known I was going to miss Sacramento this week, I probably would have made a little bit more of an effort to go to that. But I did get to go to the Hot Rods on the Tarmac, which was a great show. A oh, Lightning McQueen themed 
Miata. Custom Tesla, sure, why not? Just because the 64 Plymouth Sport Fury, big block powered. This is with a four speed. Yeah, being a Dodger fan, I could make a comment about that, but I will refrain. Try to keep the video on the positive side. <laughs> Show you the uh, 56. Modified 66. Stingray with a LS. Sixty two vet. Welcome to I'll get the Mustang. That's a six cylinder Mustang. I did get my Fox body uh, out. My sister doesn't want it at her house anymore because she says people kept coming by and asking about it. So, oh well. <laughs> so I've got a, it's over at my mother's now. Got a uh, 61 Lincoln Continental convertible. A Mercedes 560 SEC Coupe. Porsche Cabriolet, 1991. That 65 GTO we saw rolling in. Or maybe we haven't yet if the uh, clips get mixed up. That's the uh, Hurst dual gate, isn't Hurst shifter. Yeah, Ford Fairlane station wagon. Here's that 63 Galaxy, once again we may or may not have seen earlier in the video, <laughs> depending on. <laughs> The 62 409 Impala. The 67 Coronet. A Barracuda convertible, 67. we may or may not have seen driving in earlier in the video. <laughs> The 67 SS RS 396 Camaro. That's 
68 RS convertible. A 69 Z28 Camaro. Packard Woody. One's a 54 Packard. He must have thought his car had a little dust. Beautiful Packard. This one has the uh, factory satellite radio. So the cops can run the place, they're like, why is it Ben's Coupe. A 35 Packard limousine. Staying with the uh, Packard theme. This is actually one of my favorite karaoke songs, believe it or not. Lagonda. Bentley. Stingray. Oh, yeah. more Corvette Stingrays. I had to bring you the Smash Mouth themed Camaro because hey now you're an all-star. It's getting a little warm today. You might as well be walking on the sun, right? That is cool. This Fox Body uh, LX50. Right below the two with the V8. About a Bricklin GT. They wind up in the window, I feel like they're not going to have trouble with them, you know, up and down. And they, they, oh, that's much better. This one is a 1953 Bentley R-Type Special. The 63 fuel-injected split window. Corvette. A 67 Roadster. A 
68 Super Sport Camaro. This 59 Ford Skyliner retractable. I got the car, I ordered four of those. They were over 200 bucks a piece. That tire. This Continental uh, Mark III Lincoln. A low rider. She's all, yeah, whatever. So anyway. It's 58 Impala. All that for Cardinal Justice or what? It is a low rider. Continental kit and cruiser skirts. Twin antennas. A 61 Corvette. Thunderbird, this one's a 56. That's Jaguar. This one's been uh, converted to Chevrolet power. Uh, 65. Probably more out than what it is now. So like it won't work on two meters mine because it's good. Yeah, it comes out. A 63 Impala. Did you email them, Michael? Yeah, I emailed them. 51 Chevy sedan. Got the uh, driving speaker. I actually have one of those somewhere that I've had since I was a kid. I have no idea what I ever did with it. Got a 63 convertible. Just had a first, I had to wait for a boat to go by that was blasting music. So I think that's the first time I've ever had to wait for a boat while filming one of these videos. He was not playing Yacht Rock. Here we have the 61 convertible. Of course, the 63 Chevy Impala. Vintage Corvettes. 79. Hey. 75. It's very orange. When you're getting into the disco era, the turbine wheels. 69. Corvette. Get enough, get another one. Get another one. I'm going to do another 63. We've had a lot of 63s today. The single tone 59 Corvette. That's good though, That's good. Okay. Yeah. 
One Corvette. That's going to wrap things up here in San Diego for the Main Street America Car Show uh, here at the, what is this, the Embarcadero Marina Park North. Uh, there's actually like a whole little shopping center here. It's actually a pretty nice place to go for a car show. Great outing uh, for the entire family. Uh, next week I'm off to Long Beach uh, swap meet as I do most months. Uh, I might be hitting a Cars and Coffee tomorrow. I don't know yet. Of course, in a couple weeks I've got Pomona on August 13th. And I'll see if there's any car shows uh, for the uh, Saturday before that. A lot of other great events. Make sure to check out the uh, tentative list of events I'm planning on hitting, which will be in the comments section pinned to the top shortly after I post the video. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know what your favorite car was. And until next time, I'll be seeing you.